me the dub Don't matter I'm in the six or I'm on the west coast Lined up on the track is the women's 1500 meters We have nine athletes from the CTFL running in this heat We have Jazz Shukla from the Spitfires Sydney Patterson from the Arctics Cameron Ormond from the Spitfires Chloe Coots from the Arctics Sophie Coots from the Bears Nina Whitford from the Bears Hillary Clark from the Huskies, and finally Ashley McGuire from the Spitfires. Off to a successful start as the pack settles in and finally finds that racing line. The start to these kinds of events is often very chaotic. It seems to be not too bad in this race, there's just a little bit of pushing and shoving. But I have the impression that for the men's, it is uh, much more violent uh, when we see the race for the longer distances. So there is a pacer currently in the lead assigned to run 800 meters of this race. The pace is set to be 4.11 for the 1500 based off of the pacer. We absolutely love seeing this amount of CTFL athletes in this heat. I think there's more CTFL singlets than uh, there is for other track teams so that's something really fun to see. The pace seems to be very quick as we head close to the first lap and we can already see some separation in the field and as they cross the first lap it's in 67. If they could hold on to this pace it is going to be a very fast race. In this race the crowd favorite Jazz Shukla age 24 has a Pan American U20 championship silver medal and has participated one time at the U20 World Championships actually ended up winning bronze medal and also has a top eight at the NACAC Championships. Her current world ranking is 44th for the women's 800 meters. She ran a 201 back in February at Boston and is looking to improve on her 1500 meter time today. And already at 600 meters, there's already a first pack separating from the rest of the race. Pacer is doing a really great job at the moment. I believe she was assigned to run 67s, and so I believe the 800 mark will be 214, being exactly on the right pace, which is an amazing thing for the runners. Having a pacer that doesn't go the right speed or doesn't run their laps properly is something that could potentially ruin the entire race. But great job for her today on this heat of the 1500 meter. But now the race is on. It's up to the athletes to do the rest of the work. This is when the fun begins. Seven athletes currently in contention for the win. And in these kind of races, you could really see anything happen, so... We can't really predict who the winner is going to be yet. As we head into the final lap, we can see this line of athletes slowly starting to stretch out. And I haven't realized this pace is pretty quick. Almost to the final lap, we're going to be on a very quick pace here today. Last lap, 400 meters to go and the bell rings. It's 3.06. It's Jazz Shukla currently in the lead, followed very closely behind by Kate Current. The question is, can we see a comeback here? Will Kate Current have a better kick and potentially take over Jazz Shukla? 322 with 300 meters left of the race. And that's another lap that is still on pace for a very fast race. Jazz Shukla and Kate Current fighting it down the back straight. This is when those hard training sessions really come into play here. It's really just a question of who wants it more. And we're at 339 with 200 meters left. It's crazy how they can hold up this form at this part of the race. Their stride seems to be unaffected by the lactic acid buildup with the last 100 meters to go. Jazz Shukla pulling away, so I think she will take the win for the seat in the women's 1500 meters. Her previous personal best of 416.60 last year in May she will be faster, watch the clock, it's 4, 10, 50, and this will improve on her time by over 6 seconds. Congratulations to Shukla and also the rest of the runners from this race.
club, don't matter, I'm in the six or I'm on the west coast. Bring the rain like Van City.